If I tell you the price, please, please, please do not drop down dead. £5.50 for this house brick of a pork pie. Welcome back once again to Rob's Homemade and Reviews. Excuse me. Inside the kitchen today, we've got a beast of a review. We went to Winebridge the other day, had a wander around. Nice, lovely little place, never been before. As I said in the previous video for the scratchings, you might have seen it, you might not, you might see that video after this one. I'm not 100% sure. As I said in that video, whether well, which order I'm going to upload into. So, Ignore me for now. So we went, like I said, to Ironbridge, lovely place, wander around, spotted a pork pie shop. We had Ellie's of Ironbridge, world famous pork pie. And Missy said to me, So I wonder if they do a spicy one. I says, I'm gonna have a look anyway, see what they've got. So I walked in and they had mini pork pies, big pork pies. Little pork pies, Eccles cakes, all kinds of pastries and bits and bobs. Now, at the corner of my eye, I spotted this bad boy. Wait till you see the goddamn size of this. This is, look at it, a chili pork pie. Look at the size of this beast of a pork pie if i tell you the price please 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 do not drop down dead five pound fifty for this house brick of a pork pie but how amazing does it look i cannot wait I've, i was going to eat it the day i bought it because we, like i said we've been away i took it back to where we were stopping i was like and see chunk of that and I thought no I'm going to wait until I get home and I can review it without already knowing what it tastes like. I love a pork pie. The only thing I'm not a massive fan of on a pork pie is the jelly. It's like uh, some, if it's too much jelly it's it's horrible. If it's just slim slither I don't mind that. So I'm going to cut this bad boy open and see what it's like. I am hoping there's going to be chilli inside, not just the sprinkle on the top. So I'm going to have a bit of a wedge. Of L's of Night uh, Iron Bridge. Oh, look, this chilli flakes running through it. Just look. Can you see the chilli in that? Oh God. So here goes. For Ales of Iron Bridge, world famous pork pies. This is a chilli one. Cheers, guys. Mm. Like I said, I'm not a massive fan of the jelly. So I'm actually going to pick that up. So meaty. Plenty of meat in there. Mmm. The chilli's actually kicking in a little bit. That little bit of jelly that's left now, don't mind that. The pastry is lovely. Sweet. Mm. Pastry is quite thick. But it's not doughy, it's not soggy. That 
is really good. It's so meaty. You can taste that lovely pork in there. <clears throat> I know who will enjoy a slice of that. Mr. Craig Banks, there is a wedge of chili pork pie heading your way very soon, sir. I hope you enjoy it. That, is it worth £5.50? Somebody has spent a lot of time, a lot of effort, and a lot of hours to make these. So yes, to me it's worth £5.50. Just look at the size of it. You could feed a family of six with that. You can see the chilli running through it as well. It's not just on the top, which is what I was hoping for. Because if it's just sprinkled on the top, it's not really a chilli pork pie. It's a pork pie with chilli on top. But it's not, it's actually mixed in with the meat. And there is a little tingle there. A very nice little warmth. Flavour rating for a pork pie. That's so meaty. You can tell it's made with proper pork, proper meat, proper chunky. The jelly is not too bad, even though I'm not a big fan, but the pastry is so sweet, so crunchy, it's absolutely bloody lovely. That gets, on a pork pie level, a 10 for flavour. That is probably the best pork pie I've ever tried. That's why Elza Ironbridge is world famous for its pork pies. So if you ever do visit Ironbridge, you can buy a small one. You don't have to, they only did the I would have bought a small one if they did smaller versions of this, but they didn't. They only did big versions of the chili pork pie. But that will last me all week at work, a chunk every day, happy days. So that was my review of Els of Ironbridge world famous pork pies and their chili pork pie. I'm not going to give it a heat rating because it doesn't deserve a 0.5 because it's a little bit lower than that. It's probably, I'd give it a 0.1. There's, a little tiny hint of it. They've made it, not as a gimmick, but they've made it for everybody's palate. A chilli head, you could stick a reaper in there for me and happy days, but that's not going to happen to a, a, a pork pie maker. He's not going to go to that extreme unless somebody asks him. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. <coughs> Who knows? But if you ever are in Ironbridge, go and visit the pork pie shop. If you love them, you will, they'll blow your mind, I promise you. So that was my review. <coughs> of Els of Ironbridge world famous pork pies their chilli pork pie thank you very much for watching smash that like button hit that subscribe button <coughs> when you hit the subscribe button don't forget the notification bell click all and you'll get every single notification from me Rob of Rob's Homemade so for me Rob and the world famous house brick of a pork pie thank you very much for watching peace